Okay, today in Mrs. Samsel's art room, we are gonna create this adorable and super easy ladybug drawing. You're gonna need a white piece of paper, a pencil to write with, a Sharpie for outlining, and some crayons or even markers to color with. Go ahead, pause the video, get your materials, and let's get started. S to start with your ladybug, you're gonna start with four, a vertical layout, four fingers at the bottom of your paper and make a mark. This is where the bottom of our ladybug's body will go. I'm gonna put two fingers to the left and make a mark and two fingers to the right and make a mark. And I'm gonna tr make those, I made those marks kind of in line with my four finger measurement and I'm gonna make a straight line across connecting it the best that I can. That's gonna be the bottom of my ladybug. Now I'm going to put two fingers at the top of my paper in the middle and make a mark. My goal is to make a big rainbow arch for the body of the ladybug. And I'm gonna try my very best to hit that dot and curve it all the way to the other side. I went above the dot a little bit and that's okay. Now I'm gonna, at the bottom, so this will be my ladybug's body. At the bottom, I'm gonna make the ladybug's head. So going inside the ladybug's body, three fingers make a mark three fingers, make a mark. Inside here is going to be the ladybug's head. And I'm gonna put four fingers and make a mark. And again, just like I did my rainbow arch, I'm going to do my best to make a rainbow arch for my ladybug's head. Inside the head, I'm gonna make some big oval eyes. And these big oval eyes, I should be able to fit my finger inside. And I'm gonna make a black circle for the pupil of my ladybug. You can have them in any direction. You can have them looking up, looking down, looking in. I have these two in different directions. I could have my ladybug looking to the side. So there's a lot of different ways I could make the pupils to change the expression or look of my ladybug. I'm gonna make some spiral antenna at the top. And of course, my ladybug is super happy to be here today. Now what makes a ladybug? The red and black spots. So I'm gonna do my very best to draw some nice sized black circles. I would say you could probably trace a quarter to do this, but I know sometimes when I trace it gets a little sloppy or misplaced. So I'm just gonna do my very best to make some dots for my ladybug. And some of them, you noticed, are cropped or cut off or half dots. Now down below, I'm gonna add my feet. I have one, two, three ladybug feet, one, two, three ladybug feet, and then over here is gonna be the grass, and then the sky. I'm gonna write my name along the ladybug body, and the year that I made this on the other side of my ladybug body, which is 2021, 2021. Now I can outline in Sharpie, come back, and we'll color it. All right, I have everything outlined in that black Sharpie marker. If you don't have a black Sharpie, you could always outline it in a black Crayola marker. That works too. I went in and I used my Sharpie and I added some blades of grass, that little vertical line. And now I'm gonna use my mark or my crayons to color it. So of course I'm gonna get some red for my ladybug's body. 
some black for the dots and a couple different values of green for the grass. So I got a dark green and a light green. And then your sky, you can come up, I think the blue contrast very well in my example, but you might wanna do something different if you wanna add um, the sun or whatever you want. I'm going to get a blue picked out for my sky. And now we can start coloring. So I'm gonna start coloring with those black dots and black feet. When you color, you want to color in every section solid and do your very best not to scribble. We want this to, as always, be high quality artwork that we're proud of. We've done a really good job on this adorable ladybug drawing. So when I go to color these large areas, I don't want to scribble outside of the lines. So I always like to go and kind of outline so I know what section I'm going to be coloring in. And it kind of reminds me when I make this line of a stop sign. So I know I have to stop and keep it all inside here. So now that I have that outlined, I can go back and I'm gonna think of the direction. I don't want it to be all, all over the place. So I'm gonna go up and down vertical. And then kind of slow along those edges. And there's the red for my ladybug. I would do the same coloring in the same direction with the blue, the green, and then you can come up with some kind of color you might want your ladybug's face that would contrast and pop out so it doesn't blend. I did yellow, because I think that's a super fun, happy color, but it's up to you. I can't wait to see how you color your ladybug. All right, and just like that, I got my adorable ladybug all colored up. I have my name on it in the school year. I can't wait to see what you created. Thank you for creating art with me and I'll see you next time.